all right good day good day everybody and welcome back to the channel so i'm peter for those of you that are new here welcome go ahead and hit like comment and subscribe tap the notification bell so you can know when i'm uploading to the channel all right y'all so i'm here to give you your ancestor message for today and let me tell y'all your ancestors are like some of you are really finally getting back to yourself after being so overwhelmed and you know having so many things come against you in this season in this time of your life right and they they are making me feel like love committed so it's like they just want to embrace you they are there with you they are protecting you they're doing all of these things you know what i'm saying and for those of you that are not feeling so grounded, just know that they are in the midst and they are there doing the best that they can to help guide you, protect you with the energy that they have. All right. With the energy that they have, because a lot of them don't even have enough energy to show more than the image, you know. So but your ancestors, they're like, yo, they are there. They're protecting you. They understand that you want to feel love. They understand that you want to feel cherished, you know and and they are there to provide you with those those feelings right now and this could be like I, it feels like um some are maybe struggling with um you know being a parent being a parent and your ancestors are like it's okay like you was once a child you know just get back to the root of things remember the things that you dislike as a child and try to come from a, a healthier place when dealing with your children, all right? So maybe communicating with them a little bit more, all right? Doing away with a lot of the um, old beliefs or stay in the child's place. That's what I'm hearing, stay in the child's place. Doing away with a lot of that stay in the child's place, you know, and kind of explaining things a little bit more to the child so they can have a true understanding so that they do not have to heal from certain things that you have placed on them okay so you have placed on them all right and you may not be doing it intentionally but you might find yourself acting like one of your parents or one of your caregivers to your child and so that's just going to be like something that you're going to be constantly checking all right but at the end of the day it's going to really help you establish that relationship with your child the way that you want a healthier relationship with your child so for those that have those issues with their children but your answers are like y'all still my babies all right y'all still they still their babies all right the answers have made me feel like uh, someone's either moving on uh or, or you guys are traveling so if you're traveling have fun right uh, of you moving to a new location trying to trying to um get everything established all right your ancestors are saying that like don't take a lot of stuff with you all right so like if you're trying to carry you know old problems into a new relationship or you know you're, you're moving in a new direction they don't want you taking a lot of that baggage with you and if you actually move into a physical location like you, you're moving into a new house you're moving into a new place they don't want you to take a lot of those old things with you they don't want you to hard those things they don't want you to hard those um feelings and emotions and, and and things like that you know yeah they don't want you to to c carry that stuff into um the the next phase of your life they're they're ready for you to like believe it where's that all right so if you've been feeling like the urge that oh, i don't know if i want to take this furniture with me to this new space then chances are you know that may be what they're talking about for you like leaving that furniture there because it has that old energy or that old stagnant energy and for those of you that you know are moving into a new relationship or moving away from a relationship not trying to hold on to a lot of those old things from that relationship all right but definitely see uh, a lot of moving a lot of moving pieces here it's a lot of moving pieces y'all yeah, your ancestors are, are really wanting you to really just be open to your abundance here. Like they want you to be open to your abundance. They want you to be open to your success. All right, but you can't, you can't, you can't project a lot of those old fears and a lot of those old energies 
to this new thing. It's not going to work. It's going to actually weigh it down. All right. Is that, it's going to actually weigh it down. So they don't want you weighing down this newness with old stuff. Like, your answers are like, you're going to reap the benefits of everything that you harvest. Okay. So it's like they're, they're encouraging you to spread positivity and to plant positive seeds and, and put in a lot of work. Right. But they're also encouraging you not to put in any negative things because it, whatever you plant in the season is going to manifest, but they want you to set your intentions and create. They really want you to embody this newness, this new energy, this, this, this ascension, this, I, I, I don't like saying like uh, high priestess and all that other stuff or high priest because I'm not the one that appoint these things. That's like what your ancestors do, but that type of energy, right? So they really want you to set your intentions and create, like really set your focus here. They like whatever you put your mind on and you set your intentions on, you put that positive emphasis on, it's going to materialize, it's going to manifest. All right. It's going to manifest. Definitely live in proof of that. All right. So your ancestors want you to, to surrender your fears, like surrender being afraid of things changing and moving forward. Surrender that. All right. Yeah, your ancestors are also saying like you like for those of you that are actually trying to do this work surrounding this full moon, because I know a lot of people may be doing work around the buck moon. The ancestors are like, go for it because it will materialize. All right. It's going to materialize. What else do y'all have for me? Those are my children, actually, in their acting. <laughs> I'm in the backyard. All right, so that's pretty much it. You know, just y'all stay focused. This is that time for y'all to put that those emphasis behind those things. All right, so stay focused. Do what it is that you have to do. Put that work into whatever it is that you have to put that work into continue to hold space for your ancestors continue to um you know continue to stay grounded continue to stay centered and if you're not feeling centered and grounded make sure that you're calling on your guides and calling on your team to assist you in that if you're having struggles with parenting like call on them all right maybe if the things that you that they did didn't work you know ask them like hey what's a better way for me to do this i know that you guys tried this but this isn't working for me what's a better way for me to do this um yeah so that's pretty much it do not take all of that old stuff surrender that baggage do not take all that old stuff into this new phase in your life it doesn't matter whether it's old furniture old friends old um old problems old behaviors old issues temper tantrums old addictions whatever these old things is it's like I keep saying old stuff it keeps saying like old cluttered stuff it's time to clear all that stuff out all right it's time to clear all this stuff out it's just too much to be taking with you somewhere all right with you to a new space all right you show up to your friend's house to spend the night you don't bring everything in your wardrobe you just bring the things that are necessity that are necessary for that trip and so that's what your ancestors want your ancestors want you to only carry necessary baggage all right so that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this message can't wait to start producing more content on the channel like i used to in the past um i feel like there's a energy letting up so that i'll be able to do more things um you know, but that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this message and I'll holler at you.